Hey there, this is Tom Mack, and I wanted to share with you a little bit of information that I shared with our VIP mastermind uh, the other day, and I thought it would be really valuable for you to have some of this information as well. And what we're talking about is drilling down into the SIC code data and drilling down to the SIC code data to pull out the, the, the exact businesses that you want to market to and eliminate those businesses who you really don't want to market to. So I've got pulled up right now a, a Excel spreadsheet that I'll, I will provide this very spreadsheet to you so you can so you can play with it. Uh, and this is these are all the SIC codes from uh, 111 being the first one all the way down to the very end. So we've got 2,167 SIC codes. All right. And let me just walk you through this really quick. And, and I'll explain to you how I've sorted them so that you might be able to sort them yourself uh, and hone in on just the businesses that you want to market to. So here, here's the reason for doing this. Let's say you want to market to all businesses within your state or within a couple of county area or within a, a geographic radius around your business. You want to market to everybody. Well, everybody is probably not who you want to market to, honestly. Uh, there's some business classifications that you really don't want to market to. And, and I've got those marked in black. So the businesses that I really don't market to uh, are represented on my spreadsheet in black. Now this may be different for you, for your product or for your service, but just follow me in my thinking here. So instead of creating a spreadsheet and um, deleting the, the businesses that I don't want to market to right now, I've color coded them. So black are businesses that I, I really don't ever market to. Um, white are businesses that I'm going to market to right now in the current campaign and then gray are businesses who I may market to from time to time but I'm not marketing to right now so I've got them really broken down to three sections you can have more sections than that if you wanted to uh, but it's just enabled me to to knock out a couple big blocks of data that I don't need to look at over and over again uh, like the ones in black so for example manufacturers in in rice and corn and soybean and tobacco uh, and and a lot of this livestock poultry and forestry services I don't market to these people so look the first 130 records in here I don't tend to market to those now th this uh, I've got some things marked here in white and in gray uh, from my last webinar. So this isn't necessarily a, a campaign that I'm running, uh, but I'll give you an idea. Look, so now we get into general contractors, single family residential contractors, and different kinds of contractors. Okay, so we'll, we'll likely, in this scenario, we're going to market to them. But then we get into other kinds of contractors or highway and street contractors, bridge and tunnel contractors, uh, water sewer pipelines, heavy construction, so these, this is a group that I'm really not going to be marketing to now. Plumbing and heating and air conditioning equipment controls and installation contractors. You know, So yeah, uh, this scenario, we would market to them. So we're just going to go through here. Look, structural steel erections, um, excavation work. So some companies that I'm not marketing to and then others I am. And then look, we come up to a black section again. Meat, meat packing plants sausage and other prepared meat products so here's um, here's just a group that you know companies that I don't tend to market to types of businesses I don't market to and I'm just going to skip through these come down to some now these are in gray cigarettes cigars chewing tobacco broadcloth fabric mills you know, these these are all big companies Depending on what I'm marketing, I may market to them at some point, but I'm not marketing to them in this particular campaign. So I'm going to skip through all this. Um, a lot of manufacturing and trimmings and apparel and findings, sawmill and planting mills, hardwood flooring mills. You know, this is all big, com big company stuff. Public building and related uh, furniture, you know, um, this is blackboard, so uh, furnishings for maybe schools and public buildings, 
you know, possibly there's times when we would market to a company like that, but not right now. Paper mills, pulp mills, corrugated, corrugated cardboard, envelope company. So I skipped all, you know, so all those are grayed out. We're not going to market to them right now. And look, we're going to get into some other things like newspapers and publishing. So for this, you know, we're going we're gonna to maybe market to those in this scenario. Uh, and here's another group that we're not going to market to. Look, all these in industrial chemicals, to nitrogen fertilizers, printing ink, carbon blacks. And look, here's a couple blocks. Petroleum refining, asphalt paving, um, lubricating and oils and greases. Not companies that we typically uh, will market to. A couple, couple here in the gray. Couple more in the black. We'll we'll get to a lot of white ones in a second. But look, here's here's all kinds. Of, you know, lime and gypsum and ready mixed concrete, uh, which by the way, sometimes depending on what we're selling. Um, but you can go through and look. You make your own list based on the type of customer you're looking for, and we found it really easy to make this three color spreadsheet. And I'm just going to scoot down here. We get into some white ones. We've made it. We've made it easy in this three-color spreadsheet to just be able to skip over, skip over big blocks of data that we know we don't normally market to and get to the gray and the white, which we either are or may market to. Uh, accounting firms, uh, office machinery, you know, vending machine, la commercial laundries, we like all that. Here's some more industrial stuff that we're not going to market to right now, you know, orthopedic uh, prosthetics and measuring and controlling devices, x-ray apparatus, you know, not, not markets that we're selling to right now. Uh, and then you get into some that, that we are. Okay, so you, you know, I don't need to, to beat this to death. Oh, here, look, railroad lines, railroad switching terminals, not typically, you know, our customer, right? When was the last time you sold to the railroad? Well, look, if you got a business you're selling to the railroad, that's your customer. But for most of us, that's not it. Taxi cabs, we, we sell that we sell a lot of to taxi cab companies, oddly enough. You know, inner city and rural buses, you know, that sounds like a community government type of deal. But local bus charter services, that would be a customer. Yeah, you know, we're not selling to the school bus people normally. There's some there's some local trucking and storage that we like. Um, the United States Postal Service, not our typical customer. Deep sea and foreign transport of freight. You know, a lot of these, you know, companies are not our typical customer. You know, towing and tugboat services in this scenario we thought might be a good mix. So, uh, air transportation, air freight, air passengers, air cargo, travel agencies where we, we might market to them. Anyway, so by going through this list, you can mark easily who you want to mar market to, who you don't want to market to. And look here, we're into a whole lot, a whole lot of the wholesale distribution businesses. They're all white. Because we're looking for some, this is all business to business. That's who we want to mark to. Uh, then you get down into some retail. Oh, no, we're still in business to business. Prepackaged frozen foods. I don't do a lot of foods and confections and meats and sugars and groceries. Don't do a lot of that. You know, grain and field beans. So these livestock, we don't tend to sell to any of these. We don't send to the, sell to the beer and wine or the wine distributors. But, you know, you start digging down into here, you'll find your customers. And when you do, simply simply code them by color, as opposed to deleting them out of the data set. Uh, you know, one, one, one way to do it is you can just go through and delete anything that you don't want. But, you know, the next time you've got a, a different product or service you want to offer, you kind of got to start over from, from square one because you've deleted a lot of stuff. We found it more helpful to leave everything here, leave all the data here, and then just go through uh, and market. Now here, here we're into all the retail, all the retail businesses. So we've got both wholesale and retail kind of in, in white right now. So it would probably be one or the other for our offer. Just depends on what we're selling. So we'll just scroll down a little, you know, fuel oil dealers, liquid petroleum, gas, fuel dealers, uh, optical goods stores, you know, the eyeglass stores, probably not. And then look, you get down to the Federal Reserve Banks, the National Commerce Banks, the State Banks. We don't want to market to them most of the time. So we're going to, we're going to skip all of those. The mortgage bankers, mortgage brokers will market to sometimes. Security brokers, investment brokers, insurance, actually not, not insurance brokers, but the actual insurers, 
the reinsurance companies, the big companies, nah, not typically our com customers. Here's all the insurance brokers. We got them. We got them here. Lessors of railroad property. If you want to rent some railroad property, uh, they're probably not our customer. We've got a couple marked in other colors. We did just for highlighting. Uh, land subdividers and developers, except for cemeteries, cemetery subdividers and developers, bank holding companies, you know, not, not our typical customer. Hotels, motels, and bed and breakfasts, not our typical customer, but we, we've still got them in, uh, uh, in this scenario that we were talking about. Funeral homes and cemeteries, don't think I've ever sold to a funeral home. They don't do much marketing. <laughs> People are just dying to get in there. Uh, so here we go. We're just getting. Let me just scroll down to the bottom here. Um, we get into some, you know, motion picture, uh, the motion picture industry, theatrical productions like all kinds of theaters and theater supplies, bowling centers, public golf courses, uh, offices of clinics and doctors, uh, and we've got them marked in blue because there's times when we're going to want to market to doctors. Now, if you're using contact page marketing machine. Marketing to doctors is not really easy because they don't tend to have contact contact us pages. Uh, you'll need to do email marketing for them. You can try it. Some do. The dentists do. The chiropractors might. Uh, but a lot of the doctors, they, they shy away from that They're, uh, because it's, it's not a secure communication. And if a, if a patient puts in confidential information, there's no way to keep it secure. Uh, so they just, they just don't, in many cases, have a contact us form. Uh, but great for email marketing, phone uh, phone room marketing, you know, put give it to your call center um, for appointment setting. Legal services uh, sometimes we'll market to attorneys um, if we've got something very specific for them. Otherwise, we generally don't. We don't market to like elementary schools and middle schools and colleges and libraries. You know, just a lot of these people you 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 don't you you know you don't need them in your regular marketing campaign. So you just just looking at all the black that we've knocked out child daycare services. Well, sometimes we've got a program just for them. But you'll see just in all the black how many businesses. Look, we, we've knocked out 30% of the businesses in the SIC code list just in black. Civic and fraternal associations, political organizations, religious organizations. You know, you, you, you start doing contact page marketing to churches and you're putting yourself on their prayer list. Is, is their contact us page, uh, you know, you, you're looking for salvation or you're looking for some prayer, uh, they'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, probably not the best way to contact a church. So that's, uh, that's in, in a nutshell, look, legislative boards, this is all state, the courts, the police precinct. Uh, you probably don't need to be marketing to the police station and the fire station. Uh, you don't need to have them in your phone campaigns. You don't need to, you don't need to be calling them on the phone. Uh, you don't need to be sending them emails. Okay, so this is this is what we're gonna. So let's assume that everything in white. I just scrolled back up to the top. Everything in white is actually what we want. Oh, here it's sort. We're gonna we're gonna sort. We're gonna do a custom sort. Column A, the first column. We're gonna sort it by color. And no color on top. If I just click OK. Look, it's going to resort all of my. It's going to sort everything for me, from and and only in my whites. So look, I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to grab everything that's in white. Oh, I went too far. Everything that I marked in white. Control C to copy this. So I've copied it to my clipboard. I'm going to just drop it here in a notepad for the moment. And then let's go over to uh, optinemailmarketinglists.com. And we're going to go to the B2B data query. And let's just say we're going to search in all of California. And we're going to use this data for what? We're going to use it for a contact page marketing machine. We want to have unique website domains. Let's do that. Unique website domains. If we're using it for uh, our phone number, we want to have unique phone numbers. If we're using it for fax marketing, we want unique fax numbers. If we're doing uh, mail, you know, U.S. Postal Service mail, we'd want unique postal addresses. Or if we're doing email marketing, we'd want a unique email address. That way, this is where you eliminate any duplicates. If you're giving this 
a list to your sales team, you, you might not want to take a unique. You want to have all the information, which, which could potentially be multiple listings per business, but in that you might have multiple contacts, multiple email addresses, uh, and, and just some really rich data for reaching out to a business where you might have an owner, a uh, CFO, a CEO, uh, just multiple contacts. It makes uh, That's very valuable when you're reaching out to businesses. Uh, so, so we've got our unique requirements. We're, that's all we're going to select. And we're going to come down here to SIC code, and we're going to check this box. It says, it says, check this if you want the corresponding NA, NAICS code included. We do. And we're going to come right down here oops, to four-digit SIC codes, and we're going to paste in our list. So Control-V. Oops, I need to go back to my clipboard and grab that. So I'm going to copy it, Control-C, Control-V. I pasted it in here. And look, here's my entire list of four-digit SIC codes that I just copied from my spreadsheet. So my only criteria is the state of Florida, I'm sorry, the state of California, and unique websites, because we're going to use this data for contact page marketing machine. I'm going to come down to the bottom and click check record count. So you know what happens next. Um, the system is going to check the record count, and it's going to give us a big long list of all the SIC codes and the total amount of data that's available. And from there, you can download either all of that data or part of it and start using it for your campaigns. Okay, so that's it for my training on SIC codes. Uh, there's a link below this video where you can download that same spreadsheet that we were just playing with. I'll go ahead and reset it so it's back in the original order. And then, and then you can just save that to your computer and make it your own. So you can drill down into the SIC code data like a pro. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.